Brave citizens of New Los Angeles, this is your Director General, Maurice Chausson. Today, I come before you with truly joyous news. News that I have been longing to be able to share with you since we first set foot on this unknown world. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the brave men and women of Blade, we have finally, finally succeeded in securing the location of the Lifehold Core. Now make no mistake, recovery of the Core will not be easy, especially as the Ganglion continue their persecution of our people. But as long as we forge ahead with the same determination and fortitude that got us this far, I have every confidence we will succeed in our mission. We will return to our natural bodies and take our place as living, breathing residents of our new home here on Mira. Until then, I ask you all to stand together in strength and courage as proud citizens of NLA. All right, Blades. It's now or never. So let's get right to it. Your mission is to secure the Lifehold Core and activate its backup power system. We'll have the exact location isolated in the next two hours. You'll leave as soon as we have coordinates. We're counting on all of you. Each and every single Blade will participate in this mission. Godspeed. All right, everybody, dig in! And don't hold back. I made enough for everyone. Tatsu helped with cooking, too! <laughs> wow, you really went all out. It smells amazing. Don't go hogging it all, Gwyn. Yeah, whatever. You're one to talk. Uh... How kind of you to desert us like this, Lin. What in the hell is this? We're going to war here, people. And you know what they say. Can't go to war on an empty stomach. Can't go to war if you're dead, either. Which is us if the life holds power runs out. For all we know, the ganglion are already at the core, getting ready to tear it apart. You still hungry? Mm. If we lose this one battle, we lose everything. We already understand that, Doug. But you heard what Nagi said. We have to wait while they pinpoint the core's location. Like this? You just don't get it, do you? No, Doug. You don't get it. What? You think you're the only one here who's worried? We all are. We're scared to death. That's why we're here. Together. Look, Irina... Lynn is just trying to keep up morale the best way she knows how. Yeah! Pick on Linley and you answer to Tatsu! All right. Look, Lin. I'm sorry. I'm on edge. Worried, freaked out, all of it. Forgive me, okay? No. But bring me ten hot cocos, and we'll talk. From that place you love, right? Okay, you got it. All right, everyone. Lin went to all this trouble, so let's dig in before it gets cold. Tatsu liked this plan. Tatsu is starving! Well, you don't have to ask me twice. Help yourself, Doug. <laughs> Roger that. Oh, man, am I stuffed. 
I could need another bite. Tatsu cannot move. Amazing as always, Lin. Thank you. Now I get why Arena and the Commander are always making excuses to swing by. That was delicious, Lin. Oh, you guys. Don't make me blush. I'm just glad you enjoyed it. Well, I should be getting back. Thanks for the eats. Shall we, Lieutenant? Yeah, we'd better go too. This was really great, Lin. Thanks. Yeah, this was fun, Lin. Indeed. It was a most enjoyable food ritual. All right. Good luck out there, guys. Elma, the analysis is just about finished. Gather your team and get over here. On our way. That's the Lifehold Core? The coordinates place it off the west coast of Caldros. It's no wonder we couldn't find it. It's way out in the middle of the ocean. Did it sink underwater? We'll find out soon enough. Let's suit up and get going. Secretary? Our survival as a species hinges on your efforts. Elma, we need your help. Please save us. We're all in this together, Secretary. My goal hasn't changed since I first set foot on the White Whale. You of all people should know that. I intend to see this through. That should go without saying. I know. It's just... we've put so much on your shoulders. You can make it up to me with a nice long vacation once this is all over. This planet fascinates me to no end. I'd love to take some time to explore it with no agenda. Oh, ho Can Tatsu be Elma's guide? Of course, Tatsu do it free of charge. It's all over the house. Let me guess. El taught you that one? We sent the coordinates to every Blade team we got. Elma, I want you to act as commander for everyone out there on the field. I'd be honored, Mr. Chief Engineer. <laughs> I forgot how much I miss being called. Commander makes me feel like some useless old stuffed shirt. Yeah, and shirts aren't your style. All right, team, let's go. Roger! Tatsu has lunches all packed!
got to it already. No, not yet. Look where it meets the water. Field? The life hold was designed to sustain human life at all costs. The defensive shields that surround the core won't go down so easily. So in other words... We've nothing to worry about? I didn't say that. Remember, they don't need to break into the core. They just have to keep us out until time runs out. Which is soon. Speaking of time, it's time to kick some ganglion butts. Yes, yes! Friends kick ganglion in butts. That's the spirit. I need you all at your best. Everyone's counting on us to see this through. And we won't get a second chance. All units, this is your commander, Elma. My team will take point. We'll breach the core and then once inside, attempt to activate the backup power. Doug, Irina, Gwyn, and El, you're with us. All other teams, focus on clearing our approach, then defend our position once we're in. That is your priority, not destroying all enemy craft. Are we clear? Team Grosseter, roger! Trishula, roger! Ningursu, roger! Bomba, roger! Team Surter, roger! We'll take out any hostiles along your approach. Breach team, let's go! Roger! Life hold core. Let's hurry before they can follow us inside. All right, here we go. Our real bodies. We can finally be whole again. Attention, this is life hold core control. System energy levels have dropped below zero point two. Shielding will be disabled in T minus 1000 seconds. Repeat. This is Light Pole Core Control. What? 15 minutes and we lose the shields? If the core runs out of power, the shields will be the least of our problems. Well, yes and no. We need to keep the core powered, but we do also need those shields. It's two birds with one stone's throw away. The shields will cause the ganglion to use up their material and retreat. Exactly. Everything comes down to getting the backup power source online. Right then. Let's do it! Once we're inside, there's no turning back. Everyone ready?
You're sure now? Why have we not received confirmation that the target is destroyed? What is the delay? Grandmaster, sir, the target appears to have some manner of customized Trion barrier. A Trion barrier? Are you daft? These are humans we're talking about. No one outside of the clue system has access to Trion technology. And those scales of theirs. How did a primitive race like theirs manage to piece those together? As you say, Grandmaster. But if they are truly the Founder's descendants... Don't speak to me of myths! Ha! A tale to frighten children! They are the disease, not the cure! They are not the failsafe! Three. The enemy forces are rallying. Sir, we can no longer effectively strike the target. Where are the interceptors? An enemy detachment has cut them off. They can't reach us. But these are savages, not... No, I refuse to believe it. <sighs> Prepare the feature. I shall crush them myself. Grandmaster, with all due respect, sir, the Vita belongs to the Great One. Your body could not withstand it. The Great One's blood runs in these veins. I will use it, because I must use it. Prophecy or no prophecy, you will not be the end of our people! I swear it! Ah, yes, your barrier. You think it can stop the Vita? Stop the Great One!
Is this it? Will my unending thirst for knowledge be satiated at long last? Yeah, so then... Where is it all? All I see is a whole lot of nothing. It's so quiet. I feel like we're back in the cathedral. Okay, Elma. What's the deal here? Where are all the stasis capsules? Where the hell are all our bodies? <sighs> Don't tell me. This isn't the core? Whoa, what? Seriously? This has to be it. You all saw what the core looked like in the mission briefing. This is definitely it. Lynn's right. This is the place. Then where are all the people we brought with us from Earth? You're all controlling these MIMS from your real bodies, asleep in stasis. That's the explanation you were given by NLA, or should I say ECP officials. That was the official story, but it's not the whole truth. Colonel, what do you mean? Wretched humans, you'd be dead already if it wasn't for that blasted barrier! What the? It's that mech they stole from the hand. Ganglion? He's an ugly mother. Eww. You must be the Ganglion leader. The one Lao spoke of. Luxar, was it? That's him? Do not presume to address me. You defile my name by even speaking it. Only the Great One may call me that. Great one. I am here to purge the universe of your disease, once and for all. What are you so afraid of? Destroying the Earth wasn't enough. You had to chase down the survivors and destroy them, too. What's their threat? You'd even risk flying that crippled mech. That's right, isn't it? It's not complete. It's still missing something vital. Hmm. Interesting. Then you're not entirely ignorant, are you? Perhaps your human birthright allows you to sense it, even in that puppet shell. Birthright? You. You're no ordinary puppet. You must be the one responsible for the Trion barrier. The scales. This whole blasted mess! <laughs> then perhaps I am mistaken after all. Perhaps humanity is the failsafe of the legend. But you will not find the Ganglion content to submit and resign ourselves to that fate. No. Instead, I will purify this world and prepare it for the advent of the Great One! Stop you calling your attack! Please, the 
looking good. Shadow strike. Fly now. Melee attack. Destroy. I'm gonna bring Don't hell to you. Side slash. <laughs> Here. Ghost battery. Got you. Well, that's what I need. Perpetuate the myth must be destroyed! Looking good! Be gone, you blights! Now that's how to evade. Looking good! You can do it! Got you! Close your eyes! Think harder! Any who would perpetuate now, the myth must attack. be destroyed! Shadow strike! Got you, you filthy! <laughs> Because you like Close your eyes! Don't you That's tough. Touch me up. Sorry. I will cover first. Move in and keep the rhythm going. Don't you Why fight columns. needlessly? Forgive me, Craig, for using your vessel. We should Don't be holding the way just. I'm not missing this chance. Yes. 
Sure looks that way. <laughs> Lieutenant, we did it! First dance of victory, then Lenly's victory feast! <laughs> sure, Tatsu. I'm game. Let us dance up a storm in any port! Hey, come on, lighten up. We just finally beat the Ganglion. Tatsu even wants to be part of the victory feast. Isn't that right, Tatsu? Wait, when Lily say part of the feast? Yeah, I mean, we'll all eat you in celebration. No, 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 no. Tatsu want nothing to do with Lily's feast, nothing at all. Oh, okay, we'll just eat without you then. 
B -b -b wait, no! Lin Lin know what Tatsu means! <laughs> I'm sure you two will work it out somehow. Anyway, getting back to the conversation from earlier. So, that big machine hanging above us? I've never seen one anywhere near that size, but it looks like a seventh generation quantum mainframe. That's exactly right. It's by far the most technologically advanced computer humanity has ever created, in terms of both speed and capacity. It's also the foundation for the Earth Life Colonization Project. It's where all your consciousnesses have been recorded. What? Elma... You mean... Yes, that's what I mean. And not just everyone in New L.A. The essence of all 20 million humans we brought with us from Earth are there. Including all their memories, their genetic makeup, anything and everything. It's all been digitized and stored away in the core. Right up there. Then... What about our bodies? You mean the originals all this data was sampled from? They were destroyed, along with the Earth. <laughs> <gasps> then... wait... you mean we're already dead? You could see it that way. Or you could see it differently. The bodies you were born with, and all the chemicals and organs that created and stored your thoughts, are gone. But yourself has lived on as data, from the moment the project scanned your minds. It's all been stored here as part of the long-term plan, until it could be moved back into a real body. What real bodies? I'll show you. Capsules represent a sample of all the genetic material that could be found on Earth. Exodus was always about more than just fleeing the planet. Ships like the White Whale were designed as arcs to carry the building blocks of all life on Earth to the next world. Ark? You mean, as in, like, Noah's Ark? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. A last-ditch effort to save all living things that they might someday flourish again. This entire chamber is filled with protoplasmic fluid. You see how it works. It can regenerate life from the genetic data stored above. Including humans? All of us? Once your bodies are cultivated, your present memory can be transferred back in. Everything you've felt or done in your MIM will be carried over seamlessly, without any loss in continuity. You mean we'll have our bodies back? It sounds too good to be true. It is too good to be true. Our bodies were real. We were born in them. And now you just snap your fingers and bam, we get new ones? Is that even right? Doesn't feel like it. Are we even humans anymore? Transferring our memories? Playing musical chairs with our bodies? Where do you draw the line? How do I know I'll be the same person I was wherever I end up? To some extent, you won't be. But then, you never were. On a cellular level, we all wake up as slightly different people every day. It's only because of the continuity of consciousness that we even perceive ourselves as ourselves. It's all a fragile illusion. 
And until anyone proves we all have a soul, one better left to the philosophers. You're right to have doubts, Doug. This was the single biggest debate among the ECP board. And rightly so. So then... We did talk about putting actual bodies in stasis. We seriously considered it. In fact, some of the other projects took that path. But they would have been lucky if their ships were able to hold 50,000. The Exodus arcs were different. Enough data and materials to revive 20 million people, perfectly preserved on each and every ship. The board weighed all the pros and cons, the ethical issues and dangers of violating the natural order of things. But this is what they landed on, and I agreed. So, when Lao said our flesh burned away with the Earth, he wasn't just being dramatic. No, he must have discovered the truth which only made his pain worse. But the same people who passed over his family were keeping this all secret. It's no wonder he snapped. Poor bastard. But even so, he never said anything. You know why, right? Because of you, Lin. He didn't want to see you lose hope. In the end, he let us here, right? In the end, maybe he accepted it. I'd like to think he did. Maybe so. The ultimate hope with Project Exodus was that Mimeosomes could escort this system to a safe new home, lay down the foundations of a new society, and basically reboot humanity, continue where it left off. Despite everything we've been through, with the Ganglion and everything else, that dream is almost a reality. <sighs> I know how you feel, Doug, and you can call it whatever you like, but I need to see this through. I'll have to live with my decision. I get to live with my decision. What about you? <sighs> I'm sorry, Elmer. This is just a lot to take in. To be honest, I still have big concerns. But I can see you're following the path you believed in. The choices you are given. So what the hell? I made it this far in a tin can. Why not? Yeah. Me too. Tatsu, three! Uh, Tatsu, this has nothing to do with you. What? No? Sorry, Tatsu a little lost, but if a team friends get to make more hum hum, Tatsu gladly approve. Hum hum? What the hell is that? Hmm? Uh, Tatsu had no idea. Never see your people reborn. You will die in those puppet bodies of yours. Attention, this is Lightwolf Core Control. The system has detected a threat to core integrity. Now initiating internal defensive measures. That slug-faced bastard! He's targeting the main control system! Give it up, Luxar! Silence were! You fools! You are the ones who don't belong here! Humanity is the cancer, not us! Everyone, do whatever it takes! We have to stop him, and quickly! Roger that! Wait a second! Look! Initiating internal defensive mission. Are you kidding me?! that regenerates life from Earth can also create biological weapons to defend itself. But those are... Oh my god! Those things? Those monsters are a defensive measure? The 
The system's malfunctioning. We have to stop it! <laughs> How perfect. Absolutely perfect. Hideous humans betrayed by their own hideous creation. Who the hell are you calling hideous? was not going anywhere. You deal with the core defenses. Got it. They've spotted us. at all. Principles? You deal with a traitor, you really shouldn't be surprised when you get stabbed in the back! <sighs> you primitive little ingrate! Have you forgotten what they did to you? What they did to your family? Oh, I remember all right. My family'd still be here if you hadn't brought your damn war to our doorstep. Because of you. There's only 20 million of us left. That leaves 9.98 billion reasons for me to want you dead. You who took my wife and daughter away from me, Luxor! Wow! Damn it! Get him out of there! Uh, this... This is human DNA! It was true! It was all true! die off along with our home, along with Earth. But 
but something happened here on Mira. I realized I was wrong. These mimeosomes, they aren't just ghosts or shadows. They're people, seeds of new life that are struggling to take root. I finally see that now. What's happening? It's like all the life on Earth is flowing inside me. Thank you. 
because the Samarians could have lost control of them. The key to their fatal safe lives on in the human body. The Samarians descendants are very DNA is capable of stopping the gateway in once and for all. That's why they fear us, not our wounds, but the life hold that could bring us back in the flesh. How's it look? Is it still running? It's fine. Looks like it held together. Thank God. We saved it. All of us. But we couldn't save Lao. On the contrary. By stopping him and preventing him from destroying the system, we saved Lao too. That's right. His DNA, and his memories, all of it is still stored in here. Exactly. And with this, now we finally have the means to bring him back. But wait, would he even want to come back? All the things he did, he'll be able to remember them all, right? All the more reason. You can't make up for your mistakes when you're dead. Hell, he'd better come back. He's got work to do. Wrongs he needs to right. <laughs> She's right. Okay then. Come on, let's hurry up and restore the system. <sighs> Colonel? Everyone wait. There's one more thing I need to talk to you about. Oh, man. What now? The truth is, exactly one MIM in New L.A. actually is being controlled remotely from a real body held in stasis here. Wait. Someone isn't stored in the database with the rest of us? That's right. This was a special case. The hell does that mean? Better just to show you. Is that really you? Yes. This is my true form. I was kept here in stasis. The only Xenoform on board. Wait a second. 
All this time you were an alien? No way. And all the more lovely for it. I hope you all understand. And at the end of the day, I just hope you'll still consider me as one of you. Of course we will. You've earned that, Elma. It's not about how you look. It's the person you are on the inside. That's what counts. Yes, yes! Lynn's right. Colonel, listen. We know whatever you did, you felt it was for the greater good. Yeah. Nothing's changed. That's right. Everyone, thank you. Your trust means everything to me. And I have so much more to tell you now that this time has finally arrived. But first, there's something I must do. And it's something that only I can do. There. The backup power should be all set. Biometric authorization accepted. Initializing backup power system. Hey, so did that really just work? There's no way it might still run out of juice? No, it's working. Alma, it's Secretary Nagi. Put him through. It's official, everyone. Power has been restored. Congratulations. Fandom is reporting that the ganglion forces outside the lifehold have been routed. The prospectors should have the main power system back online in a matter of days. Roger that. It's over. Excellent work, all of you. Well, we all gotta die sometime, but it won't be today. That's right. Once the main power's back online, we don't need to worry about running out again. And we won't even need that anymore once we're back in our bodies. Yup, you got that right. First things first, we'll need to get the control system repaired. Then we'll hit up the database down below. We need to check on your memories. Just a second. Wasn't she saying she was gonna tell us the rest of what she knows? Hey, that's right. I got so excited I almost forgot. Relax, there's no need for us to hurry, right? We're finally home free. We've got all the time in the world now. Well, it's a pretty long story. Tell you what, why don't we go back to New L.A. and we can talk over a nice big celebratory feast. Good idea! Lily can cook it all. Tatsu will oversee. Yeah, you can watch over everything. From inside the stew pot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. It's settled. Well then, without further ado. Right. Back to New LA. We're ready now. Ready to go home. It was 30 years ago when Elma first came to Earth. She'd come with a mission. A war was being waged between the Interstellar Federation the Ganglion belonged to and another alien civilization. And Elma knew that eventually, that war would come to Earth. She came to our planet, alone, to save us. 
She convinced those in power, like Secretary Nagi, that the threat was real, and helped put into motion a grand plan to preserve all of mankind. Her alien tech brought us scales so we could defend ourselves. It gave us light speed travel to ensure our escape. And it led to mimeosomes to facilitate our survival. None of this would have been possible for centuries without the help we received from Elma. Everyone says the Earth died that day. But not me. I don't believe it. The White Whale couldn't have been the only Ark to escape, either. There must be other survivors out there. Somewhere. The path ahead may not be clear, and it certainly won't be easy. But for now, the important thing is we're here, on Mira, and we're alive. And we'll live on, for now, with faith in our hearts that one day, we can once again set out to search for the planet we left behind. What? This damage isn't from our last battle. It's from earlier, when we crashed on Mira. It does look pretty bad in there, doesn't it? You'd never know it by looking at the exterior. I'm entering the database chamber. Hmm. Be extra careful in there. That's everything we've been working for. Understood. What is it, Elma? Is there a problem with the database? No. That's impossible. Elma, report. Elma! Secretary, I'll stick to the facts. The system, everyone's consciousnesses and memories, the entire database, has been destroyed for some time. Destroyed. What do you mean? Explain yourself. The entire chamber is flooded. It's trashed. The system is completely shut down. And not just recently. It's been this way since we got to Mira. That's absurd. Then... then how are we... How in the world would anyone be? I know. So then why... would you be alive? It's not possible. With 
Without the database, all your identities should be gone too. It's this planet. It's something about this planet. May the blessings of Clue guide me with these new powers.